What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a fall makeup look. It wasn't intended. Originally I was going to do my go-to makeup look and then I was going to do a natural look and then I was going to do my favorite products. I was all over the place but then I found myself dipping into palettes and working with a lot of fall neutral brown warm tones which is obviously my favorite and I hadn't played with makeup in a while so I went on a little spree and I did a fall makeup look. I love how it turned out. Um, I used some new products like a Wet n Wild foundation photo shoot. No, the Wet n Wild photo focus foundation and also the L'Oreal Pro Matte liquid lipstick in the shade Sweet Tooth and and I actually truly enjoyed both of them. This foundation is only $7, so for any of you on a budget, go try this out. Um, I didn't technically review anything, but I obviously gave my feedback as I went through. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start off, I'm going to take this simple quenching, skin quenching lotion. I don't know, it's like a very lightweight water-based lotion. So I'm going to take the Porefessional and I'm just going to put that on my fingertips and I'm going to target my T-zone and then I'll spread the rest out to the rest of my face. So I noticed that like right around here is where my pores like really start to show and it's really not too cute. So I'm going to go in and try the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've never tried this foundation ever but i was watching tati like i said and she used this she was doing her do's and don'ts of makeup so obviously i got really inspired because i was like i want to see if i do things right or don't in her eyes um but everybody has different techniques and some things work for others so this is no judgment towards if you don't do things the way i do or the way tati does anyways this is in the shade golden beige and it was only six dollars so i was like if it's not the best thing under the sun then I can't complain because it was only six dollars and if it is the best thing then that's a friggin blessing you really want to make sure that you're blending your jawline and into your ears so that even though this is pretty much really close to my color um, you don't want to have any lines harsh lines it's actually really nice like it's very it's not full coverage I'd say it's about a medium coverage I love I think it's because the Wet n Wild is a little bit darker than my normal winter colored foundations. That's nice. It's not full coverage though, like you can completely still see my scarring, which is I think even harder to cover than normal acne personally, but you know. I'm now going to take the NARS concealer in the shade Custard. It's like the Radiant Creamy Concealers, which I'm also running. I swear I run out of this in like 10 seconds. So I'm trying to be a little bit more, what do you call it? When you're like saving it. Just trying to save it. I'm just putting concealer underneath my eyes and then putting it on precise spots where I have blemishes. That way it's just not excess concealer everywhere and unnecessary almost and then I'm just gonna take my finger and blot that out and my first few steps I'll or my first few blots I'll go on the actual spot and then I'll just go around the area so that I don't actually remove the concealer My friend put me on to the um, Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. And I am in, is that focusing? This is in the shade Fair. And it's right on the bottom, but you won't be able to see it because I can barely see it. It's very, very light, but it's so creamy and it just gives you such a natural, <laughs> such a natural highlight uh, set with a nice like banana powder. 
it's just beautiful. Anyways, so I'm gonna put that on right underneath my eyes. I was watching the video of Tati's do's and don'ts this morning and she doesn't like to go in with concealers that are actually a lot lighter than her skin tone, but I, like for highlighting obviously, but I actually love it. Like I love going in with a really bright light concealer, not too much obviously, to make it look over highlighted because there's obviously different makeup looks. I prefer a much natural makeup, much more natural makeup look. I like to drag my highlighting concealer up right here because it literally lifts your eyes without any effort. A lot of times I used to put my contour right here. No, honeys, do the concealer. And I will show you how life-changing it is. I'm going to pause you guys and do my brows really quick. And if you haven't seen my brow video from way back when, I still do it the exact same way. I haven't really made that many adjustments. But a new one is coming because I am really sick and tired of using a powder. I want to either try a pomade or go back to the brow pencil because I feel like I've now reached a point where I just want like this very natural colored brow and this always makes my brows a little too dark for my liking. So I'm gonna go in with my Hoola bronzer since I can't do a cream contour. Dab it onto this brush very lightly. I like natural looks so I never like to look over contoured or anything but I do like to look bronzed at the same time so I'm just a contradiction in one. And I kind of just like suck my cheeks in and take it like this, like chopsticks or something, and flatten it into a fan type of brush. And just start angling out where I want the contour to go. Just kind of giving it a shadow, like so. And push up, don't no, push down, like back and forth and upwards. And I'll push it back into my hairline like that. And then the Hula bronzer is very bold, so it, it's easy to get a lot of bronzer everywhere when you don't really want that type of look if you really want a natural look so I'm going to also combine it with the MAC sorry it's a little bit dirty but it's the MAC um, refined golden bronzer and it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it too that I really like now I'm gonna finish off my cheeks because I created the line I created the shadow now I like to take this bronzer over it and just bronze my cheeks up. banana powder that I'm gonna put under my eyes to just keep brightening up those under eyes because there are designer bags under them because I am a working college student <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with that and go right under my eyes right where I like highlighted I just I can I think you can tell what just happened there and it's just amazing it's just the best powder in the world just lightens you up so much Contour fleek. Nice to meet you. Okay, so 
So a lot of the times I see a lot of people putting their blush like just like that like all like they'll be like oh the apples of your cheeks but the apples of your cheeks are right here and up not like right there like you when you put it with the contour basically in the same line you're drooping your face down a little bit more and I never thought about it until a few people mentioned it and I've always put my blush up here to like rise my cheeks but I didn't like it as much so now I put it like this. I do it right on the apples, but like above my above my contour, above my contour. And these are all suggestions from Tati, by the way. She teaches me a lot. And this is all in her do's and don'ts. And I actually already did this, so I was really proud of myself. And then I like to make sure that that's because it seems very harsh right now. I just take the beauty blender and blend it all in. So, that is the final face look. Ooh, just grabbing my palettes here, people. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 350 palette. It's a hot mess, I know, don't judge me. I just always use it and I'm always sticking my fingers in glitter and getting it everywhere. This is a perfect palette for fall colors and all that. I'm gonna go in with this color to go across my lid and my crease. Just kinda like set it and have a base. gonna work my way up with darker colors moving it into the crease so I'm gonna go in this one right there so now I'm going to go in where is it let me find it on the maps first with this brown color right here and I'm gonna just stick in that area with actually I might go between these two to blend those like harsh edges out So the excess is like falling on my under eye, so I'm gonna do that a lot. I'm blending that glitter line in with the brown. My mom's gonna be like, where are you going? To the dining room. This mascara does wonders to my eyes. I'm just gonna take the Urban Decay setting spray and spray that all over my face. Infallible Pro Matte Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick by L'Oreal in the shade Sweet Tooth. 
Oh my God, it smells uh, delicious. Not really, it smells like chocolate, but like that's delicious to me. final look I hope you guys like this video because I had a lot of fun making it I hadn't had the opportunity to play around with makeup and do this type of thing in a really long time so it felt good it makes me want to get back into my makeup thing um, keeping my channel still diverse and you know having like advice and all that type of stuff as well but I missed makeup a lot so this look was really fun and I hope you guys liked it if you did enjoy this video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and I will be back very soon with more videos Mwah.